This is an easy Parmesan and turkey meatloaf, and I love this recipe because there's no chopping involved. So I'm making a mini meatloaf. This is one pound. The recipe is written for two, so I'm making half. Um, follow the recipe directly on the website if you're making um, a bigger meatloaf. Anyway, I'm throwing in the eggs and some spices or herbs, my favorite ones. Uh, you can throw in Italian seasoning, oregano, sage, cayenne, whatever you like. Um, what I say, the eggs, the panko, breadcrumbs. Um, if you're gluten-free, you can use pulverized oat, gluten-free oats. You could use cornmeal or any other gluten-free panko. And then the Parmesan cheese. And I lightly grated it, which makes the volume more than if you just use a, a pre-bought cheese. But don't get caught up on the cheese because you can never really have too much cheese, can you? Um, so don't worry about the cheese too much, but that's about two ounces. And then I'm going to form this even loaf, and it's going to try to get it to be smooth, and turkey's really sticky. I've got some paper towels ready to wipe off my hands, um, but I don't want to taper it. I want it to be that rectangle loaf. So this is ready for the oven, and I'm going to throw it in at 375, um, 10 minutes for one pound or 20 minutes for the two pound loaf. So this has been in the oven a while, and now I'm ready to baste it. So when you baste it, it's still going to be kind of raw, and that might gross you out, but it's going to be delicious and fine. This is pure ketchup, which is good. You can also use barbecue sauce. You could use marinara sauce. doesn't really matter. So then throw that back in the oven for about 25 or 30 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 165 Fahrenheit or those juices run clear, and you can poke at it and look at it and see. So if your um, oven isn't browning or caramelizing that top, throw it on the broiler on low for a couple minutes um, to get that caramelization and bu bubbling um, beautifulness. But watch it carefully because it burns fast. Um, you can find this whole recipe at eatsimplefood.com.